Hello everybody, I'm so glad you joined me tonight on Country Boy Cook with Marshall. I'm going to show you how to make one of the easiest homemade cranberry sausages you've ever made in your life. Think about it, when we cook Thanksgiving dinner, we want to make sure every dish is special. Every dish has got a touch of love in it, care. But what about the cranberry sauce? We've always just dumped that can in and believe me, I love the can, I do. But wait till you try the real cranberry sauce with cranberries in it still. Everybody, I've got to confess something right quick before we get started. I went today to the grocery store to get all of the ingredients to make this and a couple more videos. And guess what? I forgot the cranberries, the main ingredient. Let's go get them. I'm back with the cranberries now. Let's get started. You're going to be thinking, Marshall, that can't be that simple. But it is. And I'm going to show you how to make it today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. All right, we're gonna start out with 12 ounces of cranberries. These things are like little bitty apples to me. That's what they remind me of. And y'all, this recipe is so simple. They've even got a recipe on the back for theirs. But of course, I tweak it a little bit. I like to tweak it with orange and orange zest. So let's put this together. Come on down here. First thing you wanna do is look over your cranberries. So we're gonna open this up and put it in this bowl. Sort of look over them like you do pinto beans. See something like that? I'm gonna throw that out. Make sure you ain't got nothing mushy in here. See that? See how mushy that looks? A little darkened. I don't want that in there. For the most part, they're gonna be good, but you're gonna find a few that you probably wouldn't want. All right, so what I'm trying to say is just look through them. Make sure all of them looks healthy. Now I'm gonna go wash them at the sink. I'll be right back. And we're back. They're washed real well. Now I'm gonna add one cup of sugar, one cup of filtered water. Don't use that tap. Got too many chemicals in it. And we're coming in with the zest of one orange. We're gonna zest this orange, we're gonna cut it, and we're gonna squeeze the juice of one orange in this. Then we're going to the stove. All right, let's zest this board. Just keep it moving. You don't wanna to get too much into that white part, it's bitter. We want this zest, the orange, the outer orange peeling. Oh my gosh, as soon as you start zesting, you can smell it. Okay, that's good enough. See that? I didn't get every second of it because I don't want to get in, down in that white part that's sort of bitter. I just want this orange part. So we've done a good job of that. See that? Let's get that in there. Okay, good enough. Now let's chop this orange in two. Holding our hands like this. Squeezing it in. I'm holding my hands like this so I'll catch any seeds. You can also go ahead and juice it on a juicer if you got one. And then pour it in, but get the whole juice of one orange. I like tossing in a little of the pulp too. <laughs> Let's get the other part. Squeeze it in. Okay, good enough. Let's go to the stove. Okay, here we are at the stove top, everybody. You know, most of the time, recipes will tell you to go ahead and Put your sugars, your water, and whatever in here and bring it up to a boil, then put your cranberries in. I like putting my cranberries in from the start because I want them to be very, 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 very tender. So I've got my sugar mixture, my orange zest, my orange juice, my water. I've got it in here with my cranberries to start with. I'm not gonna to try to dissolve those sugars first. I'm gonna bring all this up together because I want those cranberries to be fall apart in my mouth. So let's get that going. I've got my heat on a medium high right now. I'm dissolving my sugar. See how easy it is to see the sugars in it? Even with the cranberries in it. I just find that unnecessary, that extra step. Because it comes out the same. And we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. I'm looking for all my sugars to dissolve when it starts getting hot. This don't take long at all, everybody. It's really, really simple. And if you're just used to the jailed cranberry sauce, this right here is going to be a treat for you because, you know, why not have the source? Why not have the cranberries in it? Now, look, let me tell you something else. When these things start getting hot, they're going to start trying to pop on you. You're either going to have to have a lid or have what I have. I got a screen right here I'm going to place on this thing. I got my heat on a 7. When I see these things start popping, like it is, let's hear that. They're popping here. All right, let's put our screen on. 
I'm gonna cut my heat down to a medium. Hear that popping? That's those little cranberries popping open, putting that juice and flavor out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pick my screen up and stir every once in a while, but I've got that screen as defense. <laughs> See how they're popping open there? Look at that purple bubbles coming out. That's letting me know everything's going right. Look at that, how pretty. When it starts bubbling up too much, I'll cut my heat down. I'll cut my heat down to a four. You don't want it just boiling up. You want to keep it at a simmer. Okay, I'm gonna let this go for about 10 minutes. I got it on a medium low. And we're about six minutes in right here, everybody. See how it's thickening up? Look at that. That's what we're looking for. I got my heat on a two. What you're looking for is that simmer. If it starts simmering, cut your heat down, cut it down, cut it down, cut it down, till it just keeps this little small simmer going right here. No big rolling boil. We're keeping it stirred at this point. As I'm stirring, I'm mashing down too, making sure every one of those cranberries are popped. It really looks like cranberry jelly, to be honest with you, but this is the most fantastic stuff. Like I say, once we get it off, it's going to thicken up in the refrigerator. It's going to gel. Just like the canned cranberries, it's going to gel, but it's going to have the goodness of the cranberry in it, y'all. Look. Yes. That's what you want. I'm starting to stir it and it leaves streaks in it. See it? Very soon, y'all. A couple of more minutes. This will be ready to take off. Y'all, this is so simple. There's really nothing hard at all about it. It really ain't. I'm going to cut my heat down to a low right now. we got about another good minute, and this stuff will be ready to go. Okay, at this point, I'm going to cut my heat off. Okay, my heat's off now, everybody. I'm still stirring it around, keeping it off the bottom. See the streaks when I stir through it? It leaves the streaks, see that? You know it's ready. Because when this stuff right here cools, it's going to gel up more than this. Almost like the can, but you're going to have those bits of the real deal in there. Y'all try this recipe. It's so good. Surprise your family this year with homemade cranberry sauce. Everybody always buys the can, and believe me, like I say, and I'll emphasize, I love that can. But from what I understand, it's made with corn syrup and not real sugar like we used. So if you're watching for health-wise, that'd be good enough to try to make homemade this year itself. It really is. Look at that. Look at that. You know what's done when you do that. See that? All right, we're going to let this right here cool down right here. I'm going to go ahead and take it off the high. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. Okay, everybody. Our cranberry sauce has been in the refrigerator about a good hour and a half. Look at this, everybody. Look. Look at that. That is it right there. That tastes as good as it looks, everybody. I want to thank everybody for watching again. Try this. See how this is thickening so much by itself. I love this stuff because it's so easy to make and it's so good. So this Thanksgiving and Christmas, try the homemade instead of the can and see what you think. Especially when you get the orange in there with the orange essence and the orange juice. It makes it pop. Thank you everybody for watching me today on Country Boy Cook. I'm on Marshall for you know Jesus is always Lord of all. I'll see y'all next time. By the way, pumpkin cheesecake pie is coming next. <laughs> Stay tuned.